Jason from Lego TO. Here we have the pleasure of interviewing Steve Harrington at his uh, collaboration drop with BBC. Uh, Steve, as everyone knows, is a uh, iconic artist, designer, as well as entrepreneur. Uh, so we're here to ask him a few questions. So thanks, Steve. Um, first question I have is, how did this collaboration with BBC come about? Um, I feel like it came about pretty organically. Like um, they just reached out and um, we started kind of throwing ideas back and forth, and then it just kind of turned into what it is today. And how long has the project been in the works? Um, I'd say like a good. Uh, eight, nine months. And what was your favorite part of the overall process? Um, I think it was um, just exploring kind of the two worlds that we share and just kind of seeing it come to life. Like um, being able to work with some of the key iconography from the brand and putting those together and into a sculptural form. Was really cool. All of us know you from your various collaborations throughout the years. Used by Dre, uh, you know, Nike, Colette, I mean the list goes on and on. Um, we're wondering, how do you think about your collaboration work relative to your exhibition and design work? Or is it one and the same? Um, at this point, to be honest, it's kind of just become one and the same. I feel like the collaboration work I've learned over time um, is something that helps me to kind of surprise myself because those are the moments where I don't really know what I'm going to come up with or explore next because it involves other entities. One of the collaborations that we all know about that was highly successful was your Earth Day collaboration with Nike. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, how, you how you think about the continued influence of art on popular streetwear culture? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's just, um, I mean, I feel like there's so much kind of culture and music and art um, that it's just, a, it's kind of turned into this really interesting space. And I, I think it's that space where you kind of, we all kind of get to blend everything together that we all really love and enjoy. And how do you think of social media's impact on that blending, uh, or the, you know, the convergence of those two worlds? Yeah, I think it's, I've always thought it's, um, it just kind of helps make, it makes things move faster and quicker, and it, um, that word of mouth can travel much faster. Uh, at Lego TO, you know, we not only follow artists, but we, we try to inspire new artists to come up to, to share uh, their art, share their work. Uh, do you have any words of advice or wisdom for aspiring artists that are coming up? Um, yeah, I feel like it would be the, the pretty um, the, the, the pretty corny kind of common thing that you hear, which is just like find something that you really enjoy and then just kind of practice makes perfect, I guess. Like kind of do it over and over and over um, regardless of um, if it's successful or not. And kind of if you build it, it will come. So last question for you is, uh, you have any projects, exhibitions, any work that's coming up that you'd want us to, to know about and look out for? Um, yeah, we're, we're kind of right now in the talks of um, some big stuff in um, Asia right now, with some, um, some um, uh, big exhibition stuff. Yeah. So yeah, just kind of want to put that out there, kind of be on the books for that. Awesome, we can't wait. So, awesome. Steve, thank you. Congratulations on the collaboration. Thank you. And uh, look forward to seeing more from you soon. Cool. Cheers. Thanks.